Hello, I'm Loz and welcome to Grumpa's Workshop. In this video I'm going to be talking about my shopping for some new chisels. Let's crack on. Right, I've been in the market for some new chisels. Why have I been in the market for some new chisels? Well, you'll have seen I've started using proper back saws to make joints so I need some chisels to go with the saws particularly for dovetail joints. Now in the past because I never really mastered sharpening proper chisels I tended to buy what I term as disposable chisels in blister packs from the garden centre. This one's a globe master. I have two thirds of a set of unbranded blue ones. Use them, abuse them, use them for opening painting, paint tins and clearing glue out of joints and then when they get too manky and blunt even for hacking outside I buy another set. So I need a proper set. Now proper sets can be really expensive particularly for the heritage brands that I'm aiming at. So I need to learn to sharpen first before I start hacking around with the backs and the bevels of proper chisels. So I thought I'd buy myself some starter chisels to practice building up some hand skill, muscle memory and learning how to sharpen. So I looked on the interwebs and I ended up with this set. I won't go into the long and short of it. It's a draper set, an eight piece wood chisel kit 88605. I chose this not because it's blue again but because it had six chisels and a sharpening stone and a honing guide. Let me show you its features. So first out of the box, well is the box. It's soft, quite resilient, moulded black plastic. So it's not going to get brittle and chip on you anytime soon. And there's the set of chisels. First thing that stands out, apart from the fact that they're blue, is they have large soft grip training handles with a thumb, a thumb grip and a shape, so I can really practice. Second is that the set is more than just standard three or four, it's six ranging in 6mm through 12, 20, not 18, but 20, 26, 32 and 38. So basically a quarter of an inch to an inch and a half in old money, which is quite good. And it's an expert system, so buying this makes me an expert. Uh, high grade CRV steel which I believe is chromium, chromium vanadium alloy which increases the hardness. When I look at the blades the visible milling marks, I'll show you some close-ups as we go along, but reasonably fine on the front and back and the bevels. What surprised me is the thickness of the shoulders that the bevels run into. Not so bad on the wide one where the edge runs quite to a fine edge at the front but on the 6mm it's almost like a clown bevel and you might be able to see from the close-up the whole thing's wonky. The bevel is quite pronounced on one side and quite rudimentary on the other side. The backs as I as much as I can ascertain and I've started sharpening one I think it's the 20 mil lapping the back it looks like the back behind the blade at least for the first inch and a half is hollow which is a plus when you're lapping backs I believe how that works out on the others is another matter anyway I thought I'd show you them they're not the last chisels I'll ever buy. Watch this space for that. Uh, I'm looking 
at the Narlex and the Lee Nielsen or even the Ashley Isles but that sort of chisel would be wasted on me as much as a Lamborghini would in terms of me nipping down to the corner shop. These will suit me. Very nice. The oil stone, I'm not sure whether it's a combination, is two-sided. There's a medium and a fine. Although nowhere on the paper will kind of find out what the grit is. I suspect from another one I've got it's only 120 and 240, not for 600. So it would certainly need some form of strop and compound to get a finer edge. As I say, I'm going to be using these, and I've already started, to learn how to sharpen. And having watched the internet an awful lot, I've decided on the Axminster Rider system with a two-sided diamond stone and a strop that I may have to supplement with a middle ground of a water stone or a diamond stone. I don't know. Uh, but I've started on this and that's going to be the subject of another video. Watching me flap around trying to sharpen chisels and then planes. Uh, my number four plane never did turn up. So I've got myself a cheap plane shaped object. It'll probably end up as a doorstop. Only, only 22 quid I think. Again, just to practice lapping the back and sharpening the blade. So, all that's to come. The Draper 8-piece expert chisel set, I believe, will make me an expert. And in terms of a score, mm, goodish. Goodish enough for a cack handed beginner like me, but not the last one I'll ever had. More to come. If you like listening to me flap about, don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification so you can see things coming up. Thanks for visiting Grumpa's workshop, it's always appreciated. And I'll see you soon. Crack on!